Remember this guy? This is the Cleavor V-Star box. The first time I'm ever going to own a V-Star card. Never gotten one before, so I went to Walmart and I went, Oh, this looks pretty cool. No one talks about this guy. Plus, the uh, cards look very nice. Along with a pin and a coin. That bad thing, too. Let's get to it. Oh, man, this is gorgeous. <laughs> Ooh. All right. To start things off, we have our huge Beak Boy card, which is very pretty looking. It even has texture on it. it. Looks nice. Of course, we have our little pin. I might add that to the collection here. There we go. He's doing the loop. <laughs> very cool acrylic looking V star. There we go. I like that. I'm going to also add that to the back. All right. Ow. We have the very rainbowy looking Cleavor coin. Way bigger than when I collected the X and Y coins. This is a huge coin. It's Cleavor Day. We're going to put that to the side as well. Oh, never mind. The code card for the entire box. Whoever takes that. That's a lot of nines in there. And, of course, the main stars of the set. The Cleavor V-Star. And the Cleavor V Full Art promos. They are gorgeous. They have nice texture. And I genuinely, I genuinely think this Pokemon looks really nice. I like how sharp the rock texture is on them. It's really cool. This is also my first time owning a V-Star. I've never had a V-Star card before. So that is a really cool looking card. I have a few of the sleeves on standby just to have the cards in for now. Uh, for, and we'll put all of the cool cards in the back right next to Gengar. Come on. And Gold Chow will be holding them. Very cool. And the packs we have that will be opening are... Two Fusion Strikes, two Brilliant Stars, and two Astral Radiance. I have not opened a single pack from any of these, except maybe a Fusion Strike. I hear a lot about Legends Arceus being part of the Astral Radiance, as you can tell by the ancient forms of Dialga and Bokia. I cannot wait to look through there. Oh man. I want to do something different. We're going to have the older sets first, with the newer sets being last, so we're going to go... Starting with Fusion Strike with the Bolton. I'll let you guys sit to the side there. And a VMAX Gengar. That's cool looking. I don't know what to expect from this set. This is going to be entirely new to me. Oh, that's right. The battle styles of the Fusion Strike and Rapid Strike and all that. That's going to be new. There's the code card. Please be generous. No one take that many. Let them all be for different people. I know this channel's small, but like, be, try to be thoughtful. A Quick Ball, a Sharpedo, Heliolisk, Basculin, Grubbin, Mankey, Krogunk, Dark Type, Pansier, a nice Vulpix, and the first rare is none other than a Tearser and a V. Oh my god. I've never pulled a Grass Type V. My V collection is like, like eight cards right now. So this is a really nice start. I'm very happy with that. I'll sleeve it later. Getting onto the... Gengar VMAX. I would like to see a Gengar V. That would be cool. Another Basculin to start? <laughs> oh, I flipped it the other way. I do that because the borders tell what the uh, cool card will be. The black border was a cool card. The white border means it's a normal regular. I try to be good with that. Second time in. Did it wrong, but it's fine. We'll just get through this pack with full inks. A Darmanitan. A Sligu. Basculin. There he is again. A Mankey. A Krogunk, a nice Pansier, Latios, oh that's actually nice looking, and a Scentiscorch. Now we are on to Arceus from Brilliant Stars. This is probably the uh, the set that promoted Diamond, the new Diamond and Pearl remix. Oh, now it's flipped the other way. I can't win. Is <laughs> the code card? <laughs> One, two, three, four. Why, why did they switch them all of a sudden? I, I don't get that. P policy, okay. Uh, Tropius, love that guy. Baltoy, Minchino, Chimchar, Chimcho, I think, Golet, a cool looking Monferno, and a Drudgan. Okay. Alright, Shaman, I got this. Now that I know how it works, we're not going to mess this up this time. Because we're going to flip it the other way. There we go, okay. There's the code card. Meaning anything is possible. Let's hope it's good. Poison Energy, a Torco, a Clang, a Berry, Corpish, a Sock, Trapinch, the Gibble looking adorable, the cool Weasel, a Tornadus, Reverse Hollow, and an, <laughs> an Ice Cube. That's cute. And now the final two packs the Astral Radiance, Legends Arceus. 
feel very, very packed. I hope we get something nice out of here. Let's see who's gonna win, Palkia or Dialga. Let's see if the card trick works. Okay, that, I flipped it the wrong way again. But here's the code. It, it is black bordered, so there is something behind here. Do the four from the back. Wait and see. We're gonna wait and see what this potentially amazing rare pull this could be. A Ralts, a Sneasel, Misdreavus, a Poochayana, and a Holo Milk Tank. Look at him run. Very cute. And the final pack Astro Radiance, Dialga. This one has to have something amazing in it. And since it's going the way it did the other time, we're just gonna see if I do it like this. There we go. Now we don't know. There's the code card. One, two, three, four. I think I did three by accident. Yeah, I did. Okay, whatever. Gusty Pickaxe, Duat, Yan Mega, Chatot. Ah, uh, that's cool. Never had one before. A Teddy Ursa, another Sneasel, Mistrevis, Hisuian Arcana, and that looks really nice. And the final rare pull. Red Ice, and oh, there's the energy. <laughs> Alright, well, a little quick little recap. We have the two full arts that we got as a promo. I, I still really like these. This is really nice. And then, unfortunately, we didn't get the craziest pulls, but hey. A hollow milk tank, and a nice Tisarna V. I'm not complaining, it looks cool. While Cleavor may be cool and all, I think there's a better way to end this episode with a sneak peek. Giratina. And an extra little bonus pack. Stay tuned for this episode. This could be fun.